Today's Uncle Larry's excursion involves fly fishing, and we have a guest on the show today bringing my mom along for the send. I think she's gonna like this one. We're literally just trekking through the thick of it right now. Go where no man has ever gone before. Apparently that's new Uncle Larry's motto, so. Or woman, actually. Women can do the sends too. This is gonna be proof for today. You ready for the send? Ready. All right, Uncle Larry style. I got the fly rod. You guys should be proud of me. After all that hate we received from the fly fishing community, it's important to just keep getting out there. Keep on promoting the positivity. Don't let anything take you down. Do what you love. And that's what I'm doing right now. This place looks sick. I'm really excited to get down here. Uh, the look on her face says it all. Wait, hold up. There are kids on this channel. This is where the bears go. This is where the fish are. This is where we're going. Is that the river down there? Who even knows where the river is? I don't even see it. Sky. Where's the river? <laughs> oh, there's a trail. Okay. Guys, whenever you're on these sends, it's always useful to find valuable information from exploring the land. We were on that trail before, the one down there. We might have to reconnect with that one because it seems like that's how you get down there. But you know what? We could also get down this way because, I mean, how bad does it really look? <laughs> oh my God. Let's go back to the trail. I'm not kidding you. I'd go through this right now. But you know, we got to be considerate of the of the guests on the show today. <laughs> so we made it back on the trail. I guess we're going down this way, apparently. look at the water right now i'm really excited to fly fish this like the hike in was cool mm, it was beautiful now we're down here i'm always saying this probably one of the best sections of trout river i've ever seen my boots are soaking if you don't have leaky waders you're definitely doing something wrong just ripping a pretty big streamer through here seeing if there's a fish just trying to get that first bite of the day see what these fish are keying on to i have the feeling that a lot of these browns are going to be tucked up in the current up in the fast moving water behind rocks and stuff like that due to the fact that it's mid-April and these fish are definitely starting to feed up pretty heavily. Just stumbled upon a little creek that flows into the main river. Just following the trail up this way. There's a really good looking pool straight over there. I wasn't able to catch anything at the first spot of the day, but that is not discouraging me because this river looks very promising, looks super fishy. And I was debating using a spinning rod, but I'm gonna stick with a fly. I'm just gonna stick this out, catch some fish and not give up with the fly rod because I feel like it's going to be so much more rewarding to be back here, use a fly rod. Like I was saying in the last fly fishing video, there's something about fly fishing that makes you feel like you're more connected with nature and the stream. I can't really explain it, but it's definitely something I've been feeling. So I'm going to keep using the fly rod, try to catch these fish in the most natural way possible because look where we are, literally untouched back here, only a couple footprints. And I'm honestly glad for the people who are back here being able to enjoy this beautiful place as well. It's really cool what you find out here. This feather, I've never seen a feather like this. Rainbow colored, super cool find. I'm pretty sure this pool was built for fly fishing. Enough talking, time to get casting. Oh my gosh. About to get a big brown to crush the streamer. I already got the bite on the streamer, which really upped my confidence fishing this bait. So at this point, all it's gonna take is a big hit from a big brown and a good hook set to land one of the fish out of here. Got him, big brown. Oh my gosh, giant brown on the streamer. I can't even catch up to this fish. Woo. Let's go. First brown trout of the day. Literally came straight out from under that rock, crushed the streamer. I missed the fish earlier, just been exploring this water, having the time of my life, and finally got that bite I was looking for. 18, 19 inch brown right here. Let's go. On a streamer fly that my buddy Sam got for me. Shout out to Sam Van Fishing for that one. It's getting it done today. Oh my gosh. 
I honestly couldn't be happier right now. Just wetting my hands before I land this fish. The water's freezing cold. Not quite 18 or 19 inches, but a good 14 inch wild brownie to start the day off. Look at that fish. It's on the fly. Crush the streamer. Oh my gosh, and I found an Easter egg. No way. Just sitting down here eating my lunch, actually drinking some sparkling apple cider vinegar. Probably in one of the most scenic places you could possibly eat lunch. I'd just like to mention that whatever you put into your body, you gotta put in something good. Like I'm not only putting in organic apple cider vinegar, I'm putting in everything that's out here. And it's just honestly building me up as a person so much. That's why I get out here. That's why I go on the ascends. Just gonna take a minute here, just take everything in that we have around us and then start fishing. I'm already eyeing up that rock right there. I'm gonna start casting right behind that with a streamer. I'm almost guaranteeing you that there's a brown behind there. So let's get them. So I have 15 minutes left to fish. I'm gonna fish a couple more pools down this way. Fish as fast as I can, cover as much water with the fly, and hopefully catch one more fish before the day is over. It's been an incredible day of exploration, fishing a completely new stretch of river. It honestly just all looks incredible. I wanna fish every single pool for like the entire day, but I do have time constraints. So with that being said, I'm gonna try to catch one more fish try to fish this as thoroughly as possible. Just get that last bite and then get out of here. It's a little bit sketchy. Last pool of the day right now. Got to end fishing because I have to go home, but I really don't want to, to be honest. Just being out here, fishing is so much fun. Looking for one more bite to seal the day off. Well, for Uncle Larry outdoors, <laughs> just made the trek out of the wilderness how did you like the adventure yeah great it was all fun and games until people started shooting oh yeah that's kind of what we experienced out here oh my gosh like there's a serious firing range going on i don't know why people like to use guns so much we like to do catch and release fishing and yeah. go on full sends well that's a little calmer and kinder so uh how did you guys come up with the idea for Uncle Larry Outdoors. So actually Johnny originated the idea probably close to a year ago at this point when he was fishing in Central Park. He was getting these kids into fishing, into the outdoors. These city kids who have never experienced that before. And his passion for fishing and just getting out there while he was in the city really fueled the start of Uncle Larry's. I saw one of those early videos when Johnny was talking to a kid. Yeah. And I was like, who the heck is this guy? Like yeah, he's so, so good. He's so good with kids. I actually thought maybe he was like one of the kids' dads or something. Cause actually? He's, yeah, because he's like, I was like, holy cow, like, who is this? Yeah, like, Johnny's was, the greatest. Yeah, he's really nice. So the entire concept and idea originated from Johnny and his passion to get other people into fishing. And the name actually came from his Uncle Larry, who yeah. got him into fishing. And basically me, Eric, Johnny, a few other guys just started the channel and it's just really grown from there. So he thought of the idea in Central Park, but like when did you three come up with it together? Like when did he share it with you guys? It honestly just happened through the Instagram page, through our first trips out on the river. Me, Eric and Johnny met up out in Pennsylvania. I think in the beginning of the summer, we just started fishing. And we just realized how much like getting out there and getting Johnny away from the city and just all three of us going on these trips helped us so much, mentally, physically, in every single aspect. Like, what and is this Uncle Larry's stuff? Like, I remember <laughs> when you first told me about Johnny, you were like, yeah, Uncle Larry. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh like, who are actually, you? Johnny and I, the first time that we fished, I think it was the first time I met Johnny, he was out on Long Island. And he invited me out there to go fishing. I was, I was like, a little creeped out that this guy was going to go stay with some guy named Uncle Larry. <laughs> So I told my mom I was fishing with Uncle Larry, even though I was fishing with Johnny. And he was talking about this striped bass. I had a bunch of cool local bites out there. So I trekked out to Long Island. It was like a two and a half hour drive. And such a cool mission. Like that was kind of honestly where it started for me and Johnny with our fishing. And, and I have to say there was a major relief going on when I found out that uh, Uncle Larry was actually some like 20 year old guy named Johnny. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure of it. Like some 40 year old man <laughs> named Uncle Larry. And I thought it was creepy, but no, Uncle Larry. <laughs> Uncle Larry is actually now his uncle. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with that being said, we made it back to the car and we're on our way out of here. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Hey. <laughs>